we will demonstrate how to simulate the mechanical accelerometer given in example chapter 2 number 13 in order to produce the same result as given in figure 37 let us open up the current version of MATLAB in Simulink. Here we have the MATLAB. The current directory is pointing inside MATLAB. I like to change that to some other desired location specifically in our case now is inside the control one subfolder simulink samples it show here the collection of simulink related sample i have it there let us open up and run the simulink. It shows us here the various group of simulink available block. We like to create a new model. I will select the continuous group and drag and drop the transfer function block. I will go to the continuous block and select and drag and drop the scope to the right side hand side of the block in order to monitor the result. Then I will go to the sources group and pick a suitable input which is a step unit step input. I will double click the unit step so that the step begins at zero. Click OK. I will double click the transfer function and enter the corresponding transfer function in order to produce the response of minus two times of the output y, which happened to be two, two, six in the numerator. The denominator is one, three, two. That correspond to a transfer function two s squared plus two s plus six divided by s squared plus three s plus two. Click OK. Then we will wire the block. First click this step from the left, press down and hold the control key on the left of your keyboard. Click the transfer function block while the control is still held down, click the scope. Configure the simulation parameter. Set the stop time to 7 so the result is the same as given in the textbook. The rest can be kept the same. Click OK. Start the simulation. Double click the scope. Select auto scale. 
That's all. So this is the end of the demonstration.